So far, there is no mob to be appeased or to be incited. And life in Lagos is normal. It's the high life. They say if you don't like doing the high life, then you'll never understand Nigeria. But there are very, very few Nigerians who see their national boundaries as anything more than colonial decisions made in the distant past. This week may decide their future. This is Morley Safer, CBS News in Lagos. Your CBS here. They said eight minutes. On the other hand, Somehow, in the midst of crisis, these newsmen could still find time to absorb native culture, get the feel of the country, learn how others live. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Yes, in foreign climes for creature comforts, a resourceful correspondent, learn to adjust. Here at home, the White House beat, the heady brew of power, and always the correspondent gleaned administration respect. As you probably know, the uh, animals have always been an important part of the White House. For some lucky ones, there was the break of a lifetime, an inside exclusive White House story. Rusty? Good morning. What are you working on now here in the White House floral room itself? I'm working on an arrangement for the President's office, Mr. Lawrence. Now, what are you using in it? Well, we have uh, white stock. Roses, of course, and heather. And right now we're using a lot of Christmas greens and holly, balsam fir, pine. Daisies, majestic marguerite daisies, sweet peas. Lily, cut it a minute. Uh. For the run-of-the-mill domestic reporter, it wasn't all beer and Skittles. As in New York here, there were transit strikes. How has the strike affected your business? Well, I'd say this. I mean, the strike affected me to the extent, I mean, that the hardship, I mean, that we're going through by getting the papers, and the papers, I mean, that are arriving through the illicit traffic, and that they cramped down, I mean, to us. I mean, there was much papers. I mean, there are times, I mean, that they, they, they think that I should handle. Now, as far as the profit is concerned, I mean, it leaves me hardly any profit at all. I mean, they're there. So, I mean, when I get through with my day's work, I just actually, I mean, I put in the time. But as far as concerned, I mean, it's home. In fashion, Bill Stout, CBS News, Salinas, California. Oh. <coughs> Politics, of course. I know of no American who wants to be a rich slave. I know Americans would rather be poor and slave. Poor and free, I should say. World of sports. natural disaster. Okay. Once you close up 
Somebody say CBS was here. The space race saw some complaints from NASA about archaic and inadequate equipment. But in the main, it was a year of solid accomplishments. And a new breed of reporter emerged, the space science expert. Space coverage is fun and challenging to us all. And the moment of launch is still the moment of truth. Five, four, three. Two, one, zero. There were those anxious moments at Bethesda Naval Hospital, the President's operation. And one man displayed his calm, his command during those tense hours. News, formerly press, Secretary Bill D. Moyers was at the helm. Chris, erudite. Thus, Bill Moyers at the moment of crisis. Uh, off the record and for your guidance, there will be a surprise disaster drill at the hospital at 10 tomorrow morning. While you're over here, we're going to leave over there. <laughs> Let me compose myself. I'm advising you of this because <laughs> there was... <laughs> because... Because probably at 10 o'clock, the hospital is going to disgorge 60. <laughs> 60 simulation casualties. <laughs> The hospital said this is a serious business. <laughs> and that they wanted you to know off the record that it's going to happen. <laughs> Commander Ray says photographers will be welcome. <laughs> Also advise the press that the 60 or so casualties they will see outside the hospital will be simulated and not White House staff. <laughs> Even to broken bones and bleeding torsos. For the American woman, it was a year when she truly exerted herself in national councils and all aspects of the national tableau, in the arts. In research. We live in an age today of vertical exploration. In tourism. Some of them that are seem absolutely incredible for their daintiness and their color. Youth rehabilitation. <laughs> Water sports. But the nation's problems remain. Congestion on the highways. Bad roads. Urban sprawl. Pockets of depression. And some held out hope. We are all here to try to change that. Beautification, beautification. Everything in town has got to get beautified. Oh, we got to get out and get beauty.
Did I hear somebody say CBS was here? 